have to pull that out. Gross. Hey, my thrifty friends. What is up? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Today, we are going to... Oh, I can't even show you. <laughs> We're going to Value Village. Oh my gosh. I feel like I haven't been here in a bit. It's been about a week. I really need to get some fall and winter items up into my closet. Uh, the stores really haven't had very much for like sweaters and jackets. Today, I am on a mission to find some. I am like calling all the good juju in the universe, feeling it, I can do this, send me the vibe. Let's go in and see what we can find. All right, let's head into my favorite section, athletic wear, Under Armour, Tough Athletic, probably Ardeans, not sure, and then some junk. Let's just keep flipping, there's gotta be goods. Oh, first pair of Lulus, there we go. And $24.99, I don't think so. They're so crazy with their pricing sometimes. Even just the no-name brand stuff I'm finding is like $6.99, $7.99, which I think is pretty high considering some of these you're buying for like five or ten dollars at the store Ooh, i've also been looking for a nice kind of light blue button down this one hits the dad vibe heading over to the men's jackets i love looking at the leather and suede jackets i'm always looking for kind of like that tan colored suede none today but some nice pieces and then the hats i have to flip through the hats I'm looking for like vintage sports caps. I like North Face, I want Patagonia, even just like an old baseball team one, neutral tones. I have like a whole list that I'm looking for, but yeah, no bones today. Another one of my favorite sections to go through is the men's. We've been collecting ski bum shirts. I don't know, like ski hill shirts. I also like to find kind of like nice loose knit sweaters in here. I don't find long sleeves resell for very much. I guess if you could find a vintage one, but like your run of the mill mall brand men's long sleeve doesn't flip for enough profit for me to pick up and probably more just what my stores are selling them for. But I do think there's some money to be made in men's shirts if you can get a low cost of goods and you can come across some really cool pieces. But yeah, oh, I like this one. That is such a like boyfriend style. I did sell a sweater like this last year. I think I sold it on Etsy, but it sold for like maybe $60 to $70 and they were asking $24 for this. For that reason, I'm gonna leave it today, but it's still a really cool piece. And then I love this. I love unique, quirky Sherpa jackets. This hits like all the factors for me. I'm being so sporadic right now as I'm thrifting, but I also saw this singer old sewing machine it gave me like that 60s vibe i don't know maybe even 70s i'm just struggling to get it open but i wanted to see inside i i don't know what i was expecting but i was like okay that's enough we'll just put the cover back on and they were asking 35 dollars. i didn't even check comps on it i bet you that would have been a piece to sell on ebay my favorite section dad joke loading oh my gosh i have big regrets not grabbing that for jeff he's like the dad joke king and then I also found this really neat Saskatchewan mug. I don't know why, but I love the print of it. It just kind of had a, a uniqueness to it and it was from Indigo, the store. This mug is going home with me. And I also found a Lululemon uh, water bottle, not something I normally grab, but I don't normally see them either. So I definitely had to check some comps on it. Now going through the last section is gonna be the Tupperware. Of course, I found one of my favorite pieces. I'm just checking to make sure the lid has a good seal and uh, it looks like it's in good condition. I'm gonna toss that in the cart. Oh, Christmas stuff. Is it too soon? I don't know. It's so nice to like look at and soak it all in. I wanna know, like are people selling VCRs still? I was thinking of flipping them before but I just I don't want to deal with electronics so many electronics tennis rackets golf clubs you need one there's lots here all right let's go over what we're not getting uh, I'm gonna leave this behind it's a Wind River plaid jacket for $17.50 they sell this at Mark's Work Warehouse I grabbed it but when I looked at the price I'm gonna leave it on the price I also found this Columbia vest for $14. I think if it wasn't so fitted, like you see how it kind of goes in at the waist, 
I maybe would have grabbed it if it was a bit more of a puffer style, but I don't think I'm going to pay up for that fitted style. And this next piece is a marmot jacket, $6, not bad, size large. The thing is this white section here was so dingy looking and I thought even if I washed it, it still had kind of like that faded grayish color to it. So for that reason, I'm going to leave it. Oh, and some stains. Oh yeah, good old stains on it. This top is like an 80s top, $5. Normally, I think I would have grabbed it, but I had so many pieces already and my coupons were only going to go so far. So for today, I'm going to leave that here. And then also this Lyle and Scott knit kind of grandpa style sweater. They were asking $14.50 for. If this would have been priced like even under $10, I think I would have grabbed it. But for what they were asking, I don't think it's worth that. And when I look at it, there's actually some see-through sections where the knit is, is separating. And then this jacket, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely adore this jacket, but they're asking $17.50. I just don't know if I'd be able to sell it for over $50. I don't know. So for that reason, I'm going to leave the jacket today. And then this water bottle, I was going to grab it, but when I searched comps, they were like $12, $16, not much over $20. And I don't think I want to fuss with uh, home goods, so I'm going to leave it there. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Like, I'm stoked. I can't believe all the stuff I found. I left some really great pieces in the store. But the stuff that I found is like, this was, this was my fall thrift trip of my dreams. Like seriously. I mean, I think I could have maybe like wished for a few more items, but what I found is like pure gold, pure reseller gold in my thrifty world. <laughs> okay. Let's get this started. Here's my first shoe item. I know it's not a fall winter item but it was a really good price and I got these cute Birkenstocks. They're like the tong one. Are these the gazaz? I can't remember the name. Anyways, they're in a size 39 and like, look at the price. What, where is that? $7.49. That is cheap for my local thrifts. These shoes will easily sell for over $50. I may start hoarding away summer stuff. Like as they, people are donating their summer stuff, I may start hoarding some away so that I have a good tough tote of summer stuff to list in like February now. I'm okay sitting on some of these investments. Next up, this was a very, very surprising one. Can you like guess what they are? <laughs> They're a pair of Blundstones. So here is the catch. These are them. Look at the pull tags. I know, hey, damaged, ill, not really what I would normally pick up, but they were $13.50. These shoes retail for over $200 Canadian, or these boots, so I feel like I can get at least minimum $50 for these. Even with the damaged pull tabs, I think these would sell for $50. I don't know, what do you guys think? What should I list them at? I actually texted Danica Thrifty Stew in the thrift store and was like, do you think I could still sell these? <laughs> And then I was like, screw it. I know I can. It actually looks like a dog. Oh my God. There's like a band-aid bit. Uh, <laughs> there's like a band-aid bit in there. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to pull that out. Gross. It looks like a dog chewed on them, to be honest. Like it looks like someone's dog got at them. I'm sure this poor girl cried and was very disappointed and was like, I don't want to wear them anymore and donated them. Like the soles are brand new. These are brand new except for being chewing. All right, next up, this is like, this is a typical urban goddess pickup. It's a Fair Isle knit sweater. I think it's just an acrylic knit. I don't think this is an actual wool one. I love these prints. This is like that Icelandic Fair Isle type fisherman sweater. This is what I would call a fisherman sweater. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about like the pinkish color. Definitely a very fall vibing sweater. Good pricing. I scooped that one so quick. Next is a pair of Arcteryx. I don't know. I think they're kind of like, maybe they're hiking pants. They have kind of um, a gathering at the bottom. So kind of like a jogger. But to me, they actually remind me of kind of like a work pant, like a snappy casual work pant that you could wear to the office. Like just looking at the fronts. I have noticed though that some of the hiking 
pants are kind of I don't know to me business casual looking <laughs> I don't know anyways that was a cool find I don't find Arcteryx very often I grabbed this Ray Dunn mug it's for myself <laughs> it says caffeine I love coffee I love coffee and I am always looking for those Starbucks Aztec mugs I think they came out in 2011 I can't even remember the name of the line this matches it kind of so I'm gonna have a collection of these kind of quirky dark mugs it at our mountain cabin that's where I really like to sit and enjoy my coffee and I want to just have like a really cool mug collection there for when we have friends and family coming out all right next is kind of the matching sweater to that other one that I left there that wool one so this is a Macmillan pure new wool it was made in Scotland I picked this one up because of the print so there's like anchors in it so it's very seaworthy uh, to me it's like fishermen um, I don't know I feel like this would be vintage I think it's definitely an older style but it's in practically new condition I'm gonna put it on Poshmark but I'm actually gonna cross list this one over to Etsy and probably list it over a hundred dollars just because it's in such good condition it's so unique the print of it made in Scotland 100% wool like these are so many factors that I would look at I did pay up for it I paid like $15 for it it's worth it to me because these sweaters these are very very unique oh my gosh i grabbed it so i think you guys have heard me talk about vintage tupperware and this is it this is what i'm looking for i love these i always make sure that the lid pushes down like i don't know is this an 80s tupperware i don't know my tupperware i just know that i love this color and i like this style of tupperware and they're perfect for mixing up like veggie salads and stuff um this one looks like yeah it was probably like microwave there's some <laughs> damage done but I don't really care I'll just clean it up and use it for salads they're just so handy and then the you know like the lid just ugh, pushes on fits nice and tight keeps all the weird smells of the fridge out of it and uh yeah I don't know I don't know why I like those I just think they're so cool okay next up is this Muskoka Teddy Shacket so I left, actually, I think I actually just bought one of these a couple weeks ago. I just listed one that's dark and I sold one of these last year, I think for like, I don't know, 50 to $65. This one I really like and I'm gonna, I put more value into it. It actually has kind of like um, a Southwestern or like um, desert kind of, what the heck do you call those? Depictograph, no, what the <laughs> I'm just gonna stop guessing, but it has like, caveman drawings that's what it reminds me of like caveman drawings and uh it's in a size extra large but really cool just fall shacket piece this i did pay up for it was 17 dollars 50 but this is a sweater that like speaks directly to my heart no joke directly to my heart so i had to grab that one and then I'm down to the last two. So I'm gonna save my favorite piece for last, but this is like one of my favorite pieces. It's a Banff crew neck, kind of like soft baby yellow sweater. This is in a size medium. I'm gonna offer it to my kids first and see if, I guess it would be Lena. This would be way too big on M. But yeah, see if she wants it. Oh, there's like a little stain on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'll probably have to do a little stain removal and wash it. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute. It has like nice embroidery. I love selling mountain town outerwear or like sweaters to me. This is just, this is a whole vibe. I love it. And then my favorite piece and my last piece is this giant, I don't, it's like a men's extra large. It is huge knit like wool knit it almost reminds me of a cowichan but i don't i don't think it is knit sweater and this is probably handmade uh really good quality like metal zipper put in but yeah it's like a giant knit cardigan these sweaters sell for like 125 and up if you ever find one of these really good quality sweaters and you're selling it for less than 125 dollars you are shorting yourself and stop doing that, okay? Because these have high value. There's not a ton of them out there. They're really good quality, highly sought after. I would use keywords like West Coast, coastal, mountains, hiking, things like that. This is just a whole, whole vibe in itself. 
Oh my gosh. I am like sweating in my car going through all these winter pieces as it's supposed to be like plus, I don't know, 35 degrees Celsius today. It's gonna be a hot one. Uh, and I'm just dreaming of warm, cozy knits. But yeah, here's my thrift haul. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I think this was like the jackpot. This was like the mother load of thrift hauls and I'm just super excited to get home and get these listed. Okay, what is your favorite piece in here? Also, do you have any like weird Tupperware fetishes, like things that you like to collect? <laughs> oh, that is like one of my secret things. Um, yeah, tell, talk to me, tell me, drop in the comments. I just love hearing from you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for supporting my channel. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. And as always, I am wishing you all many sales. All right, bye. I'm waiting at the doorstep, final.